Spit, 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 spit. Did I ever tell you about the recurring nightmare I had first year of medical school? You're going to think I'm crazy. It could be two of us in the family. Yeah, I'm operating on this guy's heart. And I'm a very important surgeon in the dream, by the way. So I have his chest open, ready to operate, ready to save his life. When just like out of a car tune all the rest of his organs come to life <laughs> and they start complaining complaining yeah they had these goofy faces and they were all bent out of shape about how the heart was always the star of the show and the gallbladder was was the most irate he said you don't care about me i'm expendable to you <laughs> i think you're crazy <laughs> no, me. it was horrifying i'm telling you i i really believe it's one of the reasons I went into emergency instead of surgical residency. Gallbladder, go yeah. I mean, it looked just like Donald Trump. He had this, this comb over thing. It was horrifying. <laughs> Stop. Find this a little town somewhere where I can mow the lawn and you can run for mayor. I want to mow the lawn. <laughs> no, no, we can take turns. You want to go inside, crazy man? Okay, mystery solved. More vitamin K and your nosebleeds will stop. The papers are still a little low for giving... from blood loss. Now, your EEG was a little funky in other areas, a chemical abnormality. But don't panic. It's not what we normally see. It's completely logical with your history of migraines and... Could it be anything else? I'd like a brain tumor? No, absolutely not. What's going on with your hands? Oh, it's nothing. It's just nothing. And how's everything else? I understand you only went to one group. Yeah, well, I'm back on full shifts, so. There are day groups? Yeah, I'm covering a lot of shifts. Mm -hmm. I could make some phone calls. Uh, thanks, but, uh, You know, Michael, the guilt associated with losing that all be done. Manhattan 1-1, I have an MI at 2 Center. 
Plaza. Victim is a 56-year-old man responsive. One, I'm switching the caller back to you. She's all yours, 3-7. Signing off, 1-7. Nine one one, what's your emergency? This is the nine one one operator. What's your emergency? Is anybody there? Hello? Hello? Are you tapping on the phone? Tap once for yes. Are you unable to speak? Sounds like you're having a hard time breathing. Are, are you choking? Is, is there a smoke or a, a fire? A fire. There, there's a fire? Okay. All right, I need to get down on the floor with the phone as you can below the smoke. And then we're going to try and find a door. Uh, can you do that? Honey, tap so I know you can hear me. Afraid. Okay, I have an idea. Um, I want you to tell me how old you are. Just tap it out, and I'll count. If I count it right, you're six. Is that right? What was that? Are you all right? Is someone there with you? Okay, uh, I want you to try to find a, a door or a window. Um, th just stay below the smoke, okay? What's happening? Scary. Stay with me. Someone will be there soon, I promise. Oh, God. Can you get me Manhattan 2 on the line? Manhattan 2. Confirm address. Confirm address. You, you, you should already be on route. I lost it. I lost the address. It was it was two five zero one Franklin. I know that. Um, go go to Avenue. I'll call another company for street. before. Michael, there's no trace of that call whatsoever. Don't you understand that? Why doesn't someone go upstairs and check the main computer? Why don't you go home for the day? The lines are already backed up. We'll manage. People are calling for help. I can't just go home and line. I'm not asking you, Michael. Go home. I can't let you back in the room until you talk to one of our people. She stinks. What'd you say? When I turned around, you you said something else. No, I didn't. Whoop. Alright, just you gotta order more chairs, that's all. Just excuse me. Jack, I gotta go.
Boop. Boop. She walked in, she was on me. Be right there, be right there, be right there. Be right there. Hello. Thanks for the, for the front lights. Thanks for the 35, 50 lights, Nate. Who is this? Now let's get back to me. I wish I may. I wish I may. Well, thank you, please, family. Let's get back to the movie. Do you want to know what our wish is? The movie is... What's your wish? Um, it doesn't say, it doesn't, it doesn't say the name of the movie. about a woman I think she's going crazy. A lifetime movie. Boop. She's getting strange call. She got a call with 911 and uh, they say that uh, the call was never uh, the, the call was never traced. There was no trace of the call. So she said so they sent her home. And, uh, Who is this? They sent her home. Now she's gonna. She was in the bathroom. She saw a face in the mirror. Of course, she saw blood dripping on her hand. So you know. She's cute. So she heard somebody knocking on the door, but that she nobody, but there's nobody there. Let me come eat. I'm hungry. No matter how Chris cuts combs, the style is there. Um,
The men in the gym were envious of his triceps and his body twisted spicy for bigger than his cases. He just didn't have the pace. Casey had, Casey had it, Chris liked it. Chris just, Chris just didn't, Chris just didn't have, Chris just didn't have the faith, faith, faith that there's a die for He did not have the look that would get chicks. It smells twisty. She's got a bloody nose. She's got a bloody nose.
Now, Christine, can you? Uh, Shane's at the diner. Can I help? I'm the uh, unofficial self appointed deputy of Starlight. Nice and fine. Uh, I can point you towards the diner if you like. All right. Nice yeah, sharp spit there. Franklin Street, here. Oh, the street. Point at death, you just starlight. No, thanks, I'm fine. Uh, I can point you towards the diner if you like. It's all right. Is there a Franklin Street, here? Oh, the street. It's a starlight named after the stars. Are uh, you looking for someone in particular? <laughs> Maybe I should tell you my name before I butt into your business. Bud Atherton. I'm the Gazette. I mean, I run the Gazette, editor, ad man, and uh, delivery boy. My son occasionally runs the presses when he gets out of bed. Not looking for anyone. Thanks for the paper. a debit made. Great, thank you. Oh, where is she? The card would use from Starlight, Pennsylvania. It's a couple hours away. Oh, thank God. I'll call you when I get there. Okay. I, I drive carefully. If you didn't get your paper, we're going to have a new batch. Oh, you're back. I was wondering if you could tell me what this means. I, uh, I saw these flyers posted all the way out of town. Oh, uh, Lake, actually. Uh, it's left over from the Make-A-Wish Festival. We put them on the trees to remind the kids to have their wish ready for the uh, Prince of Stars. He's kind of the patron saint of kids. Really, just the North Star, but kids need something to believe in. We do it every summer. Where would I find death records in this area? Uh, at the courthouse, but... They're not open yet. Uh, you are in for someone. We list obituaries for the whole county. I mean, if that's helpful, you know, give me a name and I'll do a search. I don't have a name. Uh, okay, uh, we can do a search by date then. I don't have that either. What do you have? She's six years old. Right there. Thanks. I right hear I found me. Uh, she's not here. Can we, uh, we go back further, maybe a year? Can I ask why you're looking for this girl? So I look at these already. I, I thought. Michael. What are you doing here? We're around in circles looking for you, sweetheart. Oh, um, you gotta come with me. I gotta get you to the hospital right away. Hospital? Honey, you had an aneurysm in your anterior artery. It ruptured and you're slowly hemorrhaging. What? Michael, lucky you are. Most people die before they realize they've had a rupture. Yeah. Sweetheart, that's why you've been having these nightmares and these hallucinations. Gosh, I know why the dead girl stole Emma. No, sweetheart, no, nobody stole Emma. Oh, she wants me to find her. Baby, baby, she's not real. But I think something terrible happened. Honey, honey, I, I, I know she feels real. That's why she's in the dark. Baby, she's, she's, she's lost. Michael, listen no, to me. That's why she's Emma. She knows stop I'll it, come now. I have to find her. I have to say, Emma! You're my playing tricks on you, okay? You couldn't save Emma before, so it's finding a way for you to do it now. Oh, baby, that's what we do when we can't save ourselves. We try to save ourselves. She called me. It's okay, baby. Come on, we gotta get you to the ambulance. Come on, honey. They're gonna meet us at the freeway entrance. Okay, they're gonna take you to a hospital that's a couple of miles away, and then this is all gonna go away. I promise.
She said eight or ten weeks ago. When Emma was born. The trauma may have been. Hey, Steven Subrits. Come on. Are you, are you eight, one, two, three? I can't fix it. What? I won't be able to find her if I fix it. It's not real, honey. It's not real, like the stones. Michael, if you don't stop bleeding, you're going to die. Well, maybe I'm supposed to. What? This happened because she is using Emma to guide me. Maybe it's the only way she can get through. Okay, I can't stop it. I Pam, it looks like we're the only one in the bar. Yes. For what? What is that? To save myself. Well, then let me. It's not your fault. you got to forgive yourself. It's the... Oh, no.
Oh, Christy. I need the property tax records for 22 cannabis lanes from 1973 mm -hmm. to 79. Yeah, she, I love the way she has the button up sleeve. I, I mind this girl super hot the way she has the button up sleeve shirt on with the sleeves out. Mm -hmm. The way that she has the button up sleeve shirt on with the sleeves rolled up. The way she has the button up shirt with the sleeves rolled up. Oh, she's cute. The way she has a button up sleeve shirt with the sleeves door. The way she has a button up shirt with the sleeves rolled up. This. You drive all the way from New York for my bait. Saw the plate on your car. Well, my uh, my dad's a, a big fisherman. I was hoping to get him something for his birthday. I bet your dad likes the fancy lures. I got a whole bunch of them. You just wait right here. I'll see what I can do. to see. I'm Michael. Oh. Yes. 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 the boy? Yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Beautiful place. Thank you. Well, feel free to nose around. There you go. This one here is a beaut. Those, uh, those stepping stones, do they memorialize your prize catches? Yep. One for each year. My, my husband was growing up as, well, his father would imprint his hands into a cement tablet every year. Track his growth. Those aren't for sale. Oh, God. Silver. Oh, my God. Did you hurt yourself? I'm all right. Did you, just slip. Did you cut your... No, no, I'm all right. Just... I'll clean it up in a minute. Right, you should... Don't go on. I'll get yeah, the broom. Don't go on. I'll get the broom. I'll oh. get the broom. Wow. I've broken every wine glass in my <laughs> Well, I... A little girl. That's what's keeping me awake. Yours? I think it's yours. 
What happened to her, Mrs. Waverly? How did she die? What the hell is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I don't mean to be insensitive. I, I, I've been having these dreams. I think she's communicating to me. I just, I have to know what happened to her before. You get off of our property. Please, Mr. Waverly, how did Carrie die? Leave our home. I will. I just need to know what happened. I'm calling the police. You just tell me. Ask you again. Why don't you know? We know what happened to our daughter. So John, June 6, 1979. Drowned. Starlight Lake. Three from our home. Just get off of our property. Now, leave us alone. little girl those those dead eyes and then i started hearing things seeing things outside of my dreams i thought i was losing my 
mind until I came here and found her. No, I know it sounds crazy. It's crazy to me, but I don't think Carrie Waverly drowned. I think, I think something else happened to her. The flyer. You brought me the flyer. Why didn't you bring me the flyer? What's your wish? Uh, because that's what she asked me. Right after she told me hers. You want me to leave? Can I just... The day she disappeared was the day of the Make-A-Wish Festival. I always wonder. Wonder. I was always bothered about the drowning. No, you don't. Last time anyone saw her, she was sitting on the front steps of her house. Phyllis said she was waiting for Henry's car. She was out of town and was going to take her to the festival by the lake when he got there. They found her shoe in that cove. Everyone just assumed she wandered down to the festival and somehow fell into the water. Everyone but you. A body swells in the water. Shoelaces would get tighter, not looser. How'd it come off her foot? And this bothered me even more. It come off. From here, it's two miles to the side the Waverleys lived on. To get to this shoe would have had to drift against the current the whole way. So why didn't you ever say anything? I thought about it for months. What are you gonna say? She was gone. This used to be the way of the interstate? Yeah, until they built a new junction in 92. Where did they exit the interstate? What? There's your off-ramp. This is our carry old house, isn't it? Waverly House, about a block that way. Do you remember anything about this gas station? They sold gas. The last stop before the state line. It's not true, is it? She isn't really trying to commit suicide. No, 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 no. No, I just, I, I had to say that to the police. I had to tell them she was suicidal so that they would detain her. Oh. I'm so sorry I didn't tell you. I should have told you I was going to say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay. Morning. Wow, she looks good there. 
Thanks, for a heart. These. We were drawing them last night. Alana. Hi. I think we I took care he had him tattooed on his chest. You saw him? Where? I... Prince of Toy Games. I can't explain everything. I just see things. Lotto number. Has this been going on your whole life? I mean, There's a computer called the NCIC. Dispatchers and police use it. It stores crime data. Date your friends at the police station. They use it to get you this information. Maybe they'll let you use it for something else. It's like I'm calling some favors. Cover three years before and after 1979. You should narrow things down. Where is she? There wasn't anyone with her. Are you talking about Carrie? It wasn't Carrie. It was another little girl. If that's her. and then three dies in a fire. The day after they find her, Carrie it's goes missing. It's been, it's been, it's been, it's been. When Carrie it's called me, she was coughing and choking because she was in a fire. Nellie was. 
until he was still alive when he set the girl. A neighbor heard her scream. I can't imagine. I'm so sorry. He set the garage on fire. Do you see him? Burton Hayes. They arrested him and they let him out on bail. He disappeared right after. After he, he disappeared, and they tried, but they never found him. Over there. Where do you see him? He's suffering as much as now we do. We need to find out where Burton Hayes went. Are you in Great Corner yet? No, I'm still in Williamsport. Call me if you find anything, okay? Okay. Thanks, bud. She certainly won her share of honors, didn't she? She had a very good one. Well, maybe she should have been the doctor. I was in the Red Cross before Michael was born. In the Peace Corps. It was the 60s. We had to save the world. Now I get it. I let her have a pet hospital in the backyard. We used to rescue everything from baby squirrels to beetles. How do you rescue a beetle? Well, you, you, you turn it over because it gets stuck on its back. Yeah. yeah. No, Dr. Grange is covering for me. Further north, Westfield, PA. Then you go to New York, Dryden, Parksville, New Hampshire, Newburgh, New Hampshire, 
And it's straight up north, Great Corner, New York. Got it? If I draw a straight line from Williamsport to Gray's Corner, New York. What's the connection? Let's say Bert Hayes ran from Williamsport and ended up in Gray's Corner, New York. He would have passed right through the starlight. <gasps> I'll be damned. Hold on. I have a photo of the uh, fire in Gray's Corner. Oh, where's it? But no copy. Excuse me, do you keep records of local fires? Not official ones. We have a wall of fame, though. We have more photos, a few articles. They found the remains of 11 victims. One was an unidentified female child. Coroner's office discharged the remains in 94. We'll never know if that was scary. I found Burton Hayes. I was looking for a dead guy, and I came across a live one. He's alive. He's been in Comstock prison the last 27 years. How do we know it's him? Well, he was convicted of uh, 11 count murder by arson in Exeter City County. 2503 Franklin Way is in murder counts. All have the same date, June 30th, 1979. That's three weeks after his appearance. They skipped bail on an arson charge in Williamsport. Okay. Hello? Does his record say anything about uh, children? No. Looks like he got away with one crime and got his just desserts for another.
for sure. You can't just walk in a closed door. Mike. <laughs> that guy looks funky. They said you came to tell me that somebody in my family had died. That's not why I'm here. Okay, then why are you here? I need your help. Of what? Where are you going? I don't think you can help me. Hang on, now wait a second. You haven't even given me a chance. It's been so good. I'm trying to find out what happened to a little girl named Carrie Waverly. She disappeared from a small town called Starlight. She disappeared from a small town called Starlight. For nearly 30 years, her parents have wondered what happened to her. You're never getting out of here, Mr. Hayes. Why not do something decent before you face judgment? I already faced judgment. They put me in this place. Well, that's because you had sins to pay for. This is your chance to give peace to someone that you've sinned against. And you get me out of this, I'll tell you whatever you want. You have 11 counts of murder against you. That's impossible. Well, they can move me, can't they? This is not a place for human beings. For animals. Animals that attack each other. The zoo guards, they don't care. They just throw you back in your cage. You blood all over the floor. Your eye hanging out. There's no mercy here. There's no mercy. You believe in mercy? It's God. You forget God's law when you murder. You didn't even have enough mercy to kill her before you set that on fire. You did to carry? Why you set the apartment on fire trying to cover that? Once again. I hate it when fucking clips pop. God damn it. You can look at my record. What this place would be like if they knew what you. Hey, flower lady. I work for the police. We stick together. Answer the question.
playing all the toys that I got for her to, you know, to make her happy so she, she wouldn't be crying all the time. You set the fire and you left her. I got her these things to keep her company when I was out and she was very happy about it. She, then why did she run away? Touch. Oh, head to touch. Head to touch. I'm sorry to have to inform you that Mr. Hayes is deceased. What? He just hung himself in his cell. We have to keep looking. My police reports and every love story I could get my hands on listed four adult survivors of that fire. The only child found, dead or alive, was the unidentified little girl. He said the other one. He, he said he got her things to keep her happy. Well, maybe he meant toys. Well, what better than another little girl? There isn't another little girl here. You did what you set out to do, found her. I think time for both of us to get back to what we do. I've got a newspaper and a wife that I pretend need me. I'm sure your husband having you home. Why don't you let me drive you back? No, You know... When I'm working on a story that I really care about, I'm kind of disappointed when it gets to the end. Sure, it's me. Thank you for helping me. Sure. Oh, he played on Aaron Brockovich.
Close it where he street. never measured so you up. can see why I didn't cry. How old was this woman? I don't know. Everybody looks young to me. Where did she come from? Oh, sorry. No. Seen every one of but it, one thing for sure. Casey. The every flowers one of are always fresh. So it has to be someplace quite close. Have a nice day. Are you the one that planted lilies on the vacant lot? How do you know about that? It's you. Why? Please. I go there to visit my daughter. She died in the fire in 1979? Yes. How old was she? She was five and a half years old. How do you know it was her? The child found in the ashes was unidentified. Until they discovered her bright leg was broken in two places. Lisa fell off a bunk bed the year before. How did she get there in the building? She was taken, wasn't she? She's been missing for 12 days. Then the police called and said they found her. She'd been taken to St. Luke's. Something happened. Uh, and when we got there to see Lisa, another little girl was lying in that bed. Another little girl.
house that old. By law, you have to keep physical record on the property for 99 years. Try another one. Go get a court order. But do you realize the mistake that's been made? Keep your voice. I want to know what happened to her. Raise your voice one more time and security will take you out. You want to look at our records? Go get a judge. Thanks for your help. severe and lasting injuries. They'll mute the child show signs of understanding and emotions. As her court-appointed social worker, I recommend she not be sent to St. Teresa's. St. Teresa. St. Teresa's is for lost causes only. I strongly oppose this decision. She might as well be. Because the committee chose to ignore my recommendation, let this letter serve as my official resignation. She died, mother. Jane Doe, 4172. You are her social worker. Now I understand why you. What are you talking about? Looking to save her. To stop them. What went wrong? Honey, I don't think we should talk about this. I want to hear it. What happened to her? Please. She was a lost cause. She was just a scared little girl, that's all. Her wounds were inside her. That's why she didn't speak. I couldn't let them send her to that place. They would have stuck her in a room and then just fed her. Kept her alive like an animal. It Age. I, I couldn't let that happen. What did you do, Mother? He's here. Who's here? Not to tell. Tell me what happened to her mother, please. You gotta get in this time. What are you talking about? What did you do to her mother? I love this 
this movie.
Did you know when a Marine saves another man's life, he receives a special medal. It has six points with a circle around it. The men often tattoo this kind of medal over their heart. Here's a copy of tomorrow's paper. Hope you like it. Bud. Mm. Please, sit down. I can't sit down. Wait a minute. What is going on here? He, he tells us that there's new important information about our daughter, but he won't tell us anything else. And you want us to sit down? Because he wanted to let me tell you. Carrie didn't drown. She was taken from you. Taken? Yes. Come on. Found her. No one knew who she was. Not even her. Every night, we said our own prayer before bedtime. Do you remember? It's time for a small voice. Oh, 
Tell me how old you are. Just tap it out and I'll count. Family, I just give you a link. There. That's all, that's all I know. Thank you, Terry, for the forfeit line. Hey, Terry. Hey, long, long time no see. I miss you, Terry. Coming on the broadcast. Long time no see. I miss you, girl. I miss it too. Hey, I heard uh, Sanchez is looking for the weekend off. I can cover it. Looking for something. Yeah, it's been a while. Can you hear me? 
You came in just in time. I'm fixing to leave. I'm going to come in. I'm going. I'm going to come in tomorrow. Will you come into my broadcast tomorrow, Terry? Please. So I'm fixing. To... to get off now but thank you for coming. I'll see you tomorrow. 911, what is your emergency? 